Good evening, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing Dark Man, the Sam Raimi cult classic, starring Liam Neeson. Here's the cover of it. Um, uh, this movie is a total cult classic. Um, it's very typically Sam Raimi. If you've seen Sam Raimi's films, um, it follows basically the same formula as all his other films, including, uh, you know, The Evil Dead and... <clears throat> Spider-Man, especially Evil Dead. Um, it's got the same filming style to it, lots of crazy camera angles, um, posing different images together, um, <clears throat> very psychedelic, uh, really kind of gothic musical score, all that is in this. Um, it's basically the story of Dr. Peyton Westlake, played by Liam Neeson in um, his first really big starring role, as far as I know. Um, and uh, he um, gets involved with these gangsters. Well, he becomes indirectly involved with these gangsters um, because his girlfriend, Julie, is a lawyer and um, she has all these papers that are being embezzled. Uh, through this gang and through the uh, this corrupt uh, like architect who is um, using blood money to build part of the city, so they they basically break into Peyton's lab and destroy the whole lab and uh, torture him and take the documents because he accidentally took them to work. Uh, <clears throat> and Peyton is uh, developing this new type of synthetic skin that behaves just like real skin, but the only problem is it keeps breaking down like after like 99 minutes, I believe. And um, so yeah, these gangsters come in, destroy his lab and try to destroy him, but he emerges basically and seeks revenge against uh, these mobsters and this uh, evil uh, businessman, this architect. So um, yeah, that's the basic story. Um, it's very comic book, this film. It's very, uh, just like, very similar to the way uh, Sam Raimi directed Spider-Man. Uh, it has a very strong comic book feel to it. It's extremely campy, but in a good way. Um, you know, the acting is exaggerated. Um, the emotions are overblown in it. But the action scenes in this are spectacular. Um, it's extremely fast-paced, exciting, uh, very energetic movie. Um, extremely entertaining. I think it's a really great movie. Um, not everyone might get it. They might think it's too campy. Um, but you really have to be into B-type, like, B-style movies to love this. And I totally am, and I'm a huge Sam Raimi fan, so this movie is awesome to me. <clears throat> um, Liam Neeson was, without a doubt, the heart and soul of this film, playing Dark Man in this. Um, you see him go through the whole range of human emotions, from being this kind of mild-mannered doctor, scientist, to being this totally ruthless, revenge-seeking monster, basically. Um, and you just, he's so vulnerable in the film, everything he goes through, um, you know, after um, his lab is bro blown up, and uh, he, ba he loses his identity, they don't, you know, and he's put into this hospital, but he escapes. And they did this procedure on him where they um, basically numbed his spinal cord so he doesn't feel any pain. So because he doesn't feel any pain, all he has is his emotions and they become intensely amplified. And um, you see him go through all that. Um, like There are scenes where he goes into rages and other scenes where he's sobbing uncontrollably. Um, one very moving scene where... Um, He's in an abandoned warehouse and he kind of sets up a makeshift lab in there to work on his fake skin and his, uh, his hand catches fire and he's just like, they took my hands. It's, he realizes at that moment he's incapable of feeling pain. Um, and there's a lot of very moving scenes like that uh, with Liam Neeson. <clears throat> and uh, he did some amazing stunts in this too. Uh, there's lots of awesome action scenes in this with helicopters, things blowing up. Uh, Lots of chase scenes, um, just really, really epic action scenes in this. And for the time, the special effects are quite astounding. Um, <clears throat> you know, when you watch it even to this day, it's pretty mind-blowing how awesome it looks. And this was all done without CGI or any of that stuff, so... And, uh, 
What's brilliant about this too is just the way he sets up all the different traps to capture these mobsters, or ultimately kill these mobsters. He's not seeking to capture them, he's seeking to kill them. So, um, you know, it's so intricate just the way he sets it up. Uh, just brilliant script writing on behalf of the, uh, the storytellers. Um, Sam Raimi uh, basically invented this story himself. It's his character, Darkman. Basically his version of kind of an, what you might call an anti-hero. He's not really a superhero because he's not trying to save the city necessarily. He's just trying to kill off these evil mobsters because they destroyed his life and uh, separated him from his girlfriend. And um, his girlfriend in this is played by Frances McDormand. And, uh, you know, she won an Academy, I believe, for Fargo, or was nominated at least. And she's really good as his, as his girlfriend in, in this, you know. You really get a sense of how tortured she is, especially later when she finds out Peyton's still alive. And um, just, he's desperate to try to reconnect with her, but... Um, it can't be the same as before because, you know, he went through this experience and it changed him. And, um, well, he develops, like, a fake prosthetic for his face that looks just like his face used to, you know, before um, he was horribly burned. And he tries to get, to get back together with her. And just watching all that's very moving and interesting. Um, spoiler alert, but of course it all falls apart because it can't be the way it was before. Um, but just to watch that dynamic, you know, the relationship change between them is really interesting too. <clears throat> um, all the supporting cast playing the mobsters in this are really good. Uh, Larry Drake plays, um, you know, Mr. Durant, who's the leader of this mob, and he's a totally ruthless psychopath, uh, but also very charming and suave in a suit and tie. Um, all the guys working for him are lowlifes too, you know, they're all psychopathic monsters, you know. Um, there's a big scene at the beginning where they're taking all these other mobsters in this huge, like, gunfight inside this, like, warehouse. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, the movie just goes from there. Okay, uh, I should talk about a bit about the special, like, the makeup effects in this. Uh, incredible makeup effects. Especially for Liam Neeson's character, Darkman, Dr. Peyton Westlake. Uh... Yeah, like, I haven't seen makeup that good since, ooh, I don't know when. Um, pretty much I've never seen a makeup that looks as believingly horrific as this does. I mean, it's one thing to create a horrific-looking makeup, but as far as realism goes, like, someone that's basically as disfigured as a person could be and still look human is how Peyton looks in this. Um... The only, he only has one section of his face that's normal, the rest is completely burned, um, he has no lips, it's just his teeth, you know, whenever he talks his teeth move up and down, it's really freaky looking. Um, just a really great makeup job, um, you know, very, very realistic and disturbing. Um, and just the way Liam Neeson brings the makeup to life is brilliant, he spends, I would say, 80% of the film under all these heavy bandages. But um, in spite of that, his acting just really shines through. You know, he acts, he's able to burst through the makeup in a way and really just bring that persona to life as Darkman. So, uh, yeah, it's just an awesome movie altogether. Now, it's only about an hour and a half long, so it's not that long, but it's as long as it needs to be. Like, it's action packed from beginning to end, you know, except for some more slower scenes between him and his girlfriend, Julie. Uh, and it ends with a big epic conclusion with him fighting this uh, last, like, kind of corrupt real estate guy on top of this huge building with all the, and they're just balancing along all these girders, and it's really, uh, it's just a really intense kind of nail-biting scene at the end. And uh, it's a very sad movie, too, because you see how, you know, Peyton Westlake kind of becomes this vengeful monster, and yet you can't help but feel sorry for him. His, um, even though he is seeking revenge, he's, he's killing bad guys, right? So you can't really feel that he's a, a monster in his soul. But he does do monstrous things. And it's just tragic, you know, by the end, that he cannot have his life back. That he's completely transformed into this um, anti-hero. So, uh, yeah, and even Bruce Campbell has a little cameo in this, uh, as he does in every Sam Raimi movie. I'm not going to say where the cameo is. Um, 
As far as the level of violence in this, uh, it's quite violent, um, especially the scene where uh, Peyton Westlake is being beaten and tortured in the in the lab uh, by these mobsters. Uh, it's pretty brutal, just to give you some ideas, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, but um, you know, he gets his head dunked into this vat of boiling acid and his hands get burned, like severely burned on these electrodes. And they beat the living crap out of him, they uh, push you know, this really heavy piece of equipment right on top of him, and it just goes on and on, like, it's very violent what they do to him, and, um, yeah, I mean, that's the most violent scene. All the, the violence isn't so much bloody, it's just really kind of, you know, kind of really, kind of, you know, really a lot of beating up violence, you know, not so much blood or gore, all that kind of stuff, so... It's more action violence, I would say. But that one scene where he gets beaten up is quite disturbing, so be warned about that. Um, but yeah, um, if you love Sam Raimi's films, and you love uh, superheroes, he's not really a superhero, he's more of an anti-hero, but he's he's awesome. I mean, if you, know, you like Spider-Man, you like Batman, you like uh, all those kinds of movies, you'll probably like this. Um, it's Sam Raimi's, uh, you know, vision brought to life, um, and he created an awesome character in Darkman. Um, there were a lot of sequels for this too, uh, they were not very good, they were not nearly as good as this. This is a classic, so, and, uh, with Liam Neeson in one of his first starring roles, if it might be his first starring role, I'm not sure, I don't know the whole history of Liam Neeson as an actor, so, but he is excellent in it, Liam Neeson. In my opinion, deserved an Academy Award nomination for this. So the movie didn't get recognized at all, but um, he was that caliber of acting in it. Like, he was just great. So I highly recommend this movie, Dark Man. Probably find it at a vintage video store. Uh, not too many of those left, but um, you can probably also watch it online on YouTube uh, or, um, I don't know, on other movie channels. But that's Dark Man, starring Liam Neeson and directed by Sam Raimi. Hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll have another review coming up soon. Not sure which movie yet, but um, I'll figure it out. All right, let's have a good night, y'all. Bye bye.